Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Murphy and today we are going to talk about the new Lock Me Tender Bag. If you are new to this channel, my name is Murphy and I am a CA in Louis Vuitton Neon City Store. And I am here to bring you the most honest review of all the new launches bags and maybe other things in the future but for now I'm just doing uh, Louis Vuitton bags alright let's start with the material of the bag this is a cuff leather a grainy cuff leather so uh, grainy it means it's scratch resistant the texture of this bag is a little bit supple it's a bit soft and not really a structured bag However, I would say that uh, the way it is made, it won't go out of shape unless you will like, you know, store it poorly inside your cupboard. But if you're just gonna put it on one side without any squeezing or, uh, or something on top of it or overstuffing it, the bag will keep its shape over time. I would say that the Lock Me Tender Bag is actually very similar to Lock Me Chain. Yes, the Lock Me Chain is actually very similar. It's just that this is more roundish. The Lock Me Chain is more squarish. Square bag and rounded bag fit different type of height and like body shape. So um, between these two, I would suggest to try it on yourself in the store because you will never know. It really depends. So try it on yourself. For every Lock Me collection, the trademark is the LV turn lock that you will see in front of each and every lock me bag. It's the signature lock of this bag. It's like the LV twist, you know, they have this like LV twist block and this is the LV turn lock. I would say that it's a very minimalistic branding. You will not see any LV in this bag except for this lock. So it's a very important part of this bag. The colors available are pink, gray, and black. My favorite is the gray for some reason. Maybe it's the trend because the trend now at this moment is the one that they call beige, you know, it's a mixture of beige and gray. I like how it reflects my complexion. I like how neutral it is. I like how easy it is to match. Um, of course, you can never go wrong with black. And if you are a Barbie girl in a Barbie world, go for the pink one. The choices of color is very subjective. With each, with each and every bag, there is no best color. It just depends on your personality, your, I don't know, your skin color or your preference at that moment. It is a uh, flap bag, so there's a flap on top of it. When you open the flap, there is a pocket inside that is big enough to fit your phone. If you are using regular iPhone or iPhone Pro, actually your phone can, actually, can, can fit inside. The main compartment is actually big enough for essentials phone, wallet, compact powder. If you like carrying umbrella and water bottle, it's uh, it's in category of a small bag. Nope, your water bottle wouldn't fit inside. You will need a compact wallet for this. Unfortunately, a long wallet wouldn't fit inside. Um, you can go for the Victorine wallet or the Zoe wallet for this. The lining is a microfiber lining. It feels like suede, as I always say. It's not suede. Louis Vuitton does not use suede anymore, to my knowledge. I've never seen a suede lining in Louis Vuitton nowadays. The reason is that suede lining is uh, very heavy if you're gonna use it for a bag and uh, for a humid country like Singapore, it's more prone to mold. So microfiber lining is actually the best lining that you can have with your bags. And uh, the main thing about this bag, my favorite part is that it comes with the long strap with three different lengths. Um, you can wear it as a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag and a shoulder bag um, in, for my height, which is five feet. I couldn't wear the longest strap because it's too long, but I have my colleague Tris try it with the longest strap. She is much taller than me. I think she's about 5'6". I have to confirm that to her, but the longest strap is just nice for her. It also comes with a chain strap that you can use as a strap itself or a or just an accessory for the bag. It's a plus point if you're going to attend the semi-formal dinner you can just use it as a clutch bag or just a shoulder bag using the chain the price would be 3550 it's a good price for a leather bag 3550 is um the entry price for a leather bag so it's a 
it's considered an affordable bag if you are going to compare it with the other leather bags that we have in Louis Vuitton stores right now. Now, if you are wondering if you if it's worth it to get this bag, it's very very subjective. I love this bag because it is small, but it's but it is practical. Other small bags that you couldn't really put anything inside this, you can put a lot of things in this bag at least your essentials if you were thinking twice whether to get it or not if i am the client i would want to get it if i don't have a small bag yet that i would want for a weekend it's actually uh easy to match it's easy to wear it's versatile if you're going for the black it's easy to maintain but if you're going for lighter colors be mindful with uh, color transfer especially with your jeans the leather is grainy so it's scratch resistant so it's a plus point if you are into small bag and you collect small bag it's a good addition to the bag it if, if you're a person who doesn't like loud branding then this is it the only branding that you would see on this bag is the lv turn lock so uh if you're a person who doesn't like a bag that shouts in louis vuitton it is a good bag to have but still it's still recognizable as a bag of course why would you buy a bag that doesn't you know show the brand so it's a very minimalistic way of showing that you are carrying a louis vuitton bag i like that it's rounded i like the pocket the front pocket this material is actually very lightweight if you have a back problem or a shoulder problem then this is a good bag to consider i think that's all i can say about this bag it's a very very basic small bag and actually that's the main point if you want a simple small bag that's versatile to use every day or on the weekend that's easy to match so if you're thinking about getting this bag i would suggest to consider it well, of course if your country is not in a lockdown right now and if the stores are open i would highly suggest to try it on first uh, so you can see how the length of the strap will look like on you and contact your favorite ca if you have further questions about this bag if you are in singapore you can contact me my phone number is in my instagram where you can follow because i upload all the latest and the trendiest and the coolest items we have in our store and if you'd like to watch more of the upcoming bags that we have in the store again this is murphy and i hope you enjoy this video share this video to your friends who are considering this bag if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more i'll see you on my next video bye bye